Zhejiang, a large industrial province near Shanghai, is dealing with around a million new COVID-19 infections per day, with the number expected to double in the coming days, according to the provincial government. On Sunday, despite a nationwide surge in cases, China reported no COVID deaths on the mainland in the five days ending Saturday, according to the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention on Sunday. Citizens and experts have called for more accurate data as infections. Increased following Beijing's sweeping changes to a zero-COVID policy that had locked down hundreds of millions of its citizens and battered the world's second-largest economy. China's national figures had become insufficient because the National Health Commission had stopped reporting asymptomatic infections, making it difficult to track cases. The commission ceased reporting daily figures on Sunday, which were then published by the China CDC, Zhejiang is one of the few areas where recent spikes in infections, including asymptomatic cases, have been estimated. The infection peak is expected to arrive earlier in Zhejiang and enter an elevated period around New Year's Day, during which the daily new infection number will be up to 2 million, the Zhejiang government said in a statement. In Zhejiang, which has a population of 65.4 million people, one patient had severe symptoms caused by COVID, while 242 infections of severe and critical conditions were caused by underlying diseases. China narrowed its definition for reporting COVID deaths, counting only those caused by COVID pneumonia or respiratory failure, raising concerns among global health experts. Since Beijing relaxed its restrictions, the World Health Organization has received no data from China on new COVID hospitalizations. According to the organization, the data gap could be due to authorities struggling to count cases in the world's most populous country. China is entering the most dangerous weeks of the pandemic, according to a Capital Economics Research note. The authorities are making almost no efforts now to slow the spread of infections, and with the migration ahead of the Lunar New Year starting, any parts of the country that are not currently experiencing a major COVID wave will be soon, recently, the cities of Qingdao and Dongguan each estimated tens of thousands of daily COVID infections, far exceeding the national daily toll without asymptomatic cases. According to state media, the country's healthcare system has been under enormous strain, with staff being asked to work while sick and retired medical workers in rural communities being rehired to help grassroots efforts. The approaching Lunar New Year in January, when large numbers of people return home, adds to the urgency. Visits to Zhejiang fever clinics have reached 408,400 per day, 14 times normal levels, according to a Zhejiang official at a news conference, daily requests to the emergency center in Zhejiang's capital. Hangzhou have recently more than tripled on average compared to last year, according to state television, citing a Hangzhou health official, Suzhou, China's easternmost city, said late Saturday that its emergency line received a record 7,233 calls on Thursday.